Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents the celebrated Vincent Newman's musical, Great Day, starring Gordon McRae and his lovely guest, Mimi Benzel. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and the music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and the multitude of other things you use in your daily life. The same railroads that bring you the finest in safe, luxurious, all-weather transportation at the price you can afford. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Alan Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we have a delightful story and some thrilling music to sing as Mimi Benzel and I bring you Great Day. When you're down and out, lift up your head and shout, there's gonna be a great day. Angels in the sky promise that by and by there's gonna be a great day. Every hour will warn you, somebody warn you, ever see a river rising, a swirling, angry river licking at the levees, waiting to flood across the farmlands, waiting to kill and destroy? Well, that's the way it was in the Mississippi the first time I saw New Orleans. Are you Mr. Brent? That's right, Jim Brent. Government sent me. Lord, are we glad to see you. Don't know what I can do for sure. They said you could help us stop the flood. Look, mister, I'm just an engineer. I can't turn off the rain. Folks are all praying the river won't rise over the levees. Yeah. Well, I'm praying right along with them. The skies are dark, keep no sock. Lift up your head and shout, there's gonna be a great day. Angels in the sky promise that by and by there's gonna be a great day. Gabriel will warn you, summery morn, you will hear his horn. Rudy Tootin is not far away. Hold up your hands and say, there's gonna be, there's gonna be a great day. Prayers helped, sandbags helped. We won the battle with the water that time. But there was one mighty weak spot along the river at Judson Point. And I knew that one more big rain would send the Mississippi crashing through the levee to drown 10,000 acres. <sighs> Maybe I was extra anxious to stop any flood because the plantation at Judson Point belonged to a woman, a beautiful woman named Nemi Lou Randolph. How's the word coming, Mr. Brent? Oh, hello, Miss Semmy. Say, don't you think you know me well enough by now to call me Jim? Well, I suppose I ought to. Just in gratitude for what you're doing to help all of us, Jim. Well, now, things are beginning to look more hopeful. On the river? Oh, I wasn't thinking of the river. I was thinking of you, Miss Semmy. But it is just like an approaching flood. It starts so easily with little drops of water. So easy to start, so hard to stop. Just like many other things. What things, for instance? I think it'd be a lot easier to start loving you than to stop. Oh, you mustn't talk about it. Well, you have your work to do. Tell me, Miss Emmy. Are you happy? I don't know, Jim. 
In one way, I, I guess I'm happier than I've ever been in my life. Is it for the same reason that I'm happy? I suppose when you're in love, it's not very easy to hide. Emmy, if I sing when I should be talking, if I dance when I should be walking, I am not responsible for what I do. If without a cent in my pockets, I keep pricing diamonds and lockets, does it mean I'm crazy? Yes, crazy for you. Head in the air, I walk about. You're all I care to talk about now. Happy because I'm in love. This sort of bliss is new to me. Oh, what a kiss can do to me. So large and me, you'd be so important to me. Don't ever start in doubting it. Right from the heart, I'm shouting it now. Happy because I'm in love. If I hold a book without reading, step into a brook without heeding, I am not responsible for what I do. Drop a stitch when I'm sewing Don't know where or which way I'm going If I've lost my reason The reason is you Head in the air I walk about You're all I care to talk about now Happy because I'm in love this sort of bliss is new to me. Oh, what a kiss can do to me. No, happy because I'm in love. I never knew that loving you would make me glad or gloomy. And in a world so large and roomy, you'd be so important to me. Don't ever start in doubting it. Right from the heart, I'm shouting it now. Happy because I'm in love. Oh, now I can go out and conquer the whole Mississippi River with one hand tied behind my back. It's the law, Emmy Lou. It's not my doing. I know that, Judge. But but I never thought it would be so soon. And does it have to be a public auction? Well, your father owned money to almost everybody along the river, Emmy. I, I guess a gambler always loses when the last cards are down. Oh, so many memories here. Sunshine on the water. Summer rain that danced on the roof. What will you do, Emmy? I don't know, Judge. I'll have to get a job. Maybe somebody take me on as an entertainer. Oh, you shouldn't try to go through life alone, Miss Emmy. Uh, none of my business, I guess. But that engineer fellow, everybody around Judson Point knows he's in love with you. Jim Brent? Oh, I can't ever see him again. Well, I thought you might be in love with him. <laughs> of course not. And he's just fond of me because he thinks I'm a grand lady, the aristocrat of Judson Point. Well, I'm not, am I, Judge? Oh, Emmy, I, I don't know what to say. It's all right, Judge. It's not your doing. Uh, good afternoon, Emmy. God bless you. Afternoon, Judge. I'm not in love with Jim Brent. I never have been. Oh, Jim. More than you know. More than you know. Man of my heart, I love you so. Lately I find you're on my mind. More than you
Then let's get to work. All of us. Get those sandbags. Get all the manpower you can muster. And watch the levee at Judson Point. That's the weak spot. Yes, sir. Now you give me a hand here. You dark, Mr. Grant. This is the blackest night I ever seen. Now oh, listen to me. All of you listen to me. Ever since the world began, every black night has been followed by a morning. And if we work hard, it can be a good morning. A, a great morning. When you're down and out, lift up your head and shout. There's going to be a great day. Sing. All together. Sing. Angels in the sky promise that by and by there's going to be a great day. Not far away. Oh, hold up your hands and say, there's gonna be a great day. We'll return for Act Two of Great Day in just a moment. What makes people prefer to travel by train? Ask your friends that question and you'll get a variety of answers. They'll talk about the comfort of train travel, its convenience, and many other advantages. But above all, there's the comforting feeling, the knowledge that when you travel by train, you're taking the safest known way of getting from one place to another. The railroads run every day about 25,000 trains for a total distance of nearly two and one-third million miles. These trains carry every day more than a million passengers, on journeys totaling nearly 90 million miles a day. They move every day freight equivalent to hauling more than 10 tons one mile for every man, woman, and child in the United States. In doing this tremendous job, the chances for accidents are almost infinite. But the record of accidents in relation to the chances is infinitesimal. How have the railroads achieved such an impressive safety record? To begin with, the railroads are firm believers in built-in safety. Equipment and facilities are engineered for the safest possible use and operation. In the past 30 years, railroads have spent for improvements to plant and equipment more than $20 billion, almost half of it spent in the eight years since the end of World War II. That money, of course, has provided better service, more efficiently and economically performed. But there is hardly a dollar of all those billions which does not directly or indirectly contribute to safer operations. Safety is more than a matter of safe machines, however. It is also a matter of safe men, men who are educated to use safe methods, men who have absorbed the safety spirit, which is the number one rule in the railroad book. Add them all together, safe equipment, comprehensive safety education, and the greatest of all safety devices, a safe man. And you have the reasons for the railroad's impressive safety record. A record that every railroad man works to maintain and better every day of his career. Now here is act two of the Lawrence and Lee version of Vincent Newman's Great Day, starring Gordon McRae as Jim Brent and Mimi Benzel as Emmylou Randolph. We worked all night. The sky seemed to get blacker, the river more angry. It began to look as if the water was going to win. Saw an old man who'd lived in the riverbank all his many days, and there was fear in his eyes. He fell to his knees. Oh, Lord, protect our fields, protect our homes.
No use, Jim. We won't be able to stop the river this time. Keep working. If the levee holds till morning... Oh, the Lord. The Lord sent us the miseries. No use fighting the Lord. The Lord gave us hands to work with and the will to turn back the flood. Don't give up, men. Keep praying. Keep singing. I look. There in the east. It's the sun. The rain's through. The long night's over. Oh, praise God. You've seen the worst of it, men. Your homes are saved. Amen. Your fields, your children, they'll be safe. Praise, praise God. God. It was the praying. It was the praying that did it, Mr. Jim. Can't do anything without praying, old man. I think that goes for singing, too. When things go wrong, a man ain't got a friend without a song. That field of corn would never see a plow. That field of corn would be deserted now. A fellow's boy. But he is no good, no how, without a song. I got my trouble and woe, but sure as I know the Jordan will roll. I'll get along as long as a song is strong in my song. see a certain young lady because I got a special kind of song to sing to her. Miss Emmy? Miss Emmy Lou? Miss Emmy! Deserted. The whole place is deserted. Girls, everybody ready for the serenade number? I can't go out there. Please, I can't sing tonight. Well, you've got to go on. Well, this is the biggest crowd we've ever had in the Spanish casino. All the river folks celebrating because they stopped the flood. But he's out there, Jim Brent. Of course he's there. The party's for him. He's a big hero. I can't let him see me like this. A, a cheap chorus girl. You ain't the queen of Judson Point any longer, Emmy Lou. If you're going to earn your salt, you've got to do your job. Now get out there and sing.
Thanks, Sammy. What are you doing in a place like this? A very simple reason, Mr. Brent. If I wanted my supper, I had to sing for it. That's all. I don't understand. Well, now I'm here for the gentleman's pleasure. Is there some song you'd like to have me do for you? I believe this is one of your favorites. If we can conquer the whole Mississippi River, your little troubles can't stop us. How can they? Remember what you told me, Judge? You and all the property owners along the river? Still goes, Jim. You can have any gift you want. Our plantations would all be washed away if it weren't for what you've done. Well, I don't want a gift, only a favor. Name it. Call up the public auction of the Judson Point Plantation. You see, uh, I want to buy it, but a young engineer doesn't have too much money in the bank, and I'm afraid somebody might outbid me. It's done. Oh, good. Now, if you'll arrange the terms, I'll take over the place. You see, I, I want it to be a wedding present for a very great lady. Oh, Jim. Ah, that's going to be a wedding day. When you're down and out, lift up your head and shout, there's going to be a great day. Angels in the sky promise that by and by there's going to be a great day. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Our charming guest, Mimi Benzel, will return in just a moment. Meanwhile, our thanks to Herb Butterfield, John Frank, and to our entire company. Great day with book by John Wells and William Carey Duncan, lyrics by William Rose and Edward Ellis Q, and music by Vincent Humans, was dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this same time by the American Railroads. Marvin? More than any other site you can think of, a railroad freight train in action is an accurate symbol of America at its productive best. For in that freight train are the products of mine and mill, forests and farm, in every section of the country. In it are raw materials of every kind on their way to factories all over America. Rolling along before your eyes are the finished products of America's productive might on their way to homes and businesses from Maine to California, from Washington to Florida. Yes, on those highways of steel, paid for and maintained by the railroads, move more tons of freight, more miles, at a lower average charge than are carried by any or all other forms of transportation combined. Thank you, Marvin. And now here again is our delightful guest, Mimi Benzel. Oh, thank you, Gordon. Oh, it was a great thrill to sing this endearing Vincent Newman's music. You were wonderful, Mimi. You made everybody happy tonight, more than you know. <laughs> the coin well, of praise. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> well, tell me, what's on the show train next Monday night? Well, you just listen. That sounds like something special for Easter. Give that young lady an Easter egg. It's Victor Herbert's enchanting Babes in Toyland. 
Lucille Norman and I will be taking a, well, sort of a pre-Easter trip to that magic land for kids of all ages. Well, we'll all be listening. Good night, Gordon. Good night, Mimi. Come back soon. All aboard! Well, dear friends, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next Monday night and Babes in Toyland, on behalf of the other members of the cast and of the American Railroads, this is your friend Gordon McRae saying good night. <laughs> Great Day was presented by special arrangement with the Tams Whitmark Music Library. Gordon McRae can be seen starring in Three Sailors and a Girl in Technicolor. A choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroads. Now stay tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. <laughs> Stay tuned for an address by President Eisenhower on the NBC radio network.